Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Elliot Grinch. What's going on everyone? 4Henry8 here back with another LSPDFR patrol and today we're going to be working out here in Polito Bay. As you can see we are all decked out in our Polito Bay uniform and we have these uh, lovely livery pack, lovely li a lovely livery pack, excuse me, uh, for Polito Bay. This one is created by, um, it's created by uh, Trooper 18. It's the uh, Polito Bay Police Mini Pack. I will leave the uh, link down below in the description. Uh, you can download it on lspdfr.com or lcpdfr.com, whichever one you want to call it. Um, it consists of a 2018 Charger as well as a 2018 Durango. Vehicles are done by uh, two different um, creators. Uh, those are downloadable from the actual link for the uh, livery pack. So we, we are going to ride out in this uh, 2018 Dodge Charger. I already have it warming up. As we take a look at the uh, lighting, it's going to be uh, stage one, which has the uh, traffic advisory. As you can see, it's on the rear deck, uh, on the uh, light bar, as well as on the license, uh, left and right of the uh, license plate. Stage two, adds a couple of light, other lights, as well as the uh, wigwags. And stage three all decked out with the uh, side runners, yeah, uh, rear and front. Like Lights right looks right. very, very, very slick, very awesome. All right, so we're going to ride out on patrol, see what we can get into, make some traffic stops, answer some calls, and uh, let's see how the day goes. For Henry 8, show me 10-8. All right, we have this driver up here in front of us swerving a little bit. He swerved two, uh, swerved three times now. So we're gonna pull them over and have a chat with them. They just came out of the hotel back there, I believe. So I'm not sure if they may have been doing a little drinking while in that hotel. But we gonna find, we are gonna find out now. Perfect. All right, dispatch, show me on a traffic stop. I'm going to be on Procopio, uh, Procopio Drive um, and Polito Boulevard South. All right, we'll run this plate. Give me a read on the license plate. 43 Boy Yellow Union 790, please. Hey. License plate. Four, three, boy, young, union, seven, nine, we zero, have extreme no, caution, bloodshot, nervous sweating. It's occupied one time and the vehicle odor of narcotics. All right, how you doing there, sir? I'm Officer 48, Polito Bay, Polito Bay Police Department. I am stopping you because you were swerving back there. You know, about three times I saw your vehicle just uh, swerving abruptly while traveling straight on a straightaway. All right. I'm gonna need to see your driver's license, please. I need to see some ID. All right, we have Alex Cohn, who is the uh, registered driver, registered owner, excuse me. All right, you have your insurance on you as ID. well. All right, insurance is valid. 
Okay. Where you coming from? Uh, I'm not sure. All right, likely story. Where are you headed to? Am I driving right now? Okay, this guy is incoherent. Uh, so we're going to ask him to step out the vehicle definitely now. All right, so do me a favor. Step on out the vehicle. Let's see if we can take care. a look at him. All right, he don't care, huh? All right, step over here with me. Put him, uh, put him in front of my car. Hold it! All right, turn around. Do me a favor. All right, his face looks pale. All right, you mind taking a breathalyzer? Just want to see what uh, if you you've been uh doing any drinking. If possible, all right. You could go home or you could go to jail. It's up to you, all right. If you choose not to take the breathalyzer or any of my tests. Uh, then I will just place you under arrest for my obs during you know due to my observation, all right? So let's uh, for the for argument's sake, he does agree to the breathalyzer. So we give him the breath test on the PBAT, and we'll Thank see what the kindly. results are. Thank you kindly. Uh, zero, all right. So he hasn't been drinking. So I am going to take him back to the uh, station to uh, give him the. The uh, drug test. I'll give him the drug test back at the station. So you are going to be placed under arrest at this time. You're under arrest, piece all of right. shit. I do think you are under the influence of something. All right. So I'm going to take you back to the uh, station, and I'm going to give you some uh, some tests. I'm going to administer some tests back at the uh, station. All right. For your safety and my safety, I'm going to pat you down. You have anything illegal on you or in the car that I need to know about? All right. So we will see. All right, a handgun, a briefcase with a bomb in it, LSPD, un LSPD uniform, a fake green card, and a pack of pencils. All right, so for the handgun, he has no gun permit, so he shouldn't have that. All right, go ahead and kneel down for me, all right? Unit 4, Henry 8. We have a traffic alert for a high-ranking game member in traffic. I would dispatch. I'm not available for any calls right now, please. All right, so let's, let's search the vehicle. Oh, okay, I might have to search the vehicle the old-fashioned way. Not a problem. So we'll check the driver's side first. So we did find a handgun. Uh, used Band-Aid, Life Invader hat. Okay. So we found a handgun. He doesn't have any uh, license for... Uh, he's not licensed to carry. So he'll be charged for that. Uh, AH-7921 and a bottle of toothpaste. What else? Let's see on the passenger side. In a baggie of cocaine. So that would explain the odor of, of um, narcotics. All right. So let me see if I could write up this arrest report real quick. So uh, let's see. Vehicle da database. All right. The vehicle's not going to show because I didn't run it through the computer. So, but we're going to give this guy an arrest report. So, fighting in public, failure to display license plate, I believe, probably. Yep, license plates, broken windshield. All right. So, now he can add, he can add an arrest report to his uh, history. So, we're going to charge him with possession of the firearm. And possession of the uh, cocaine. Well, right now it's going to be what what appears to be cocaine. I will put that into uh, evidence and do a um, narcotics test back at the uh, station. And the reason why we stopped him for uh, we'll put let's see, stop saying no no no. Yeah, for the for argument's sake, we're gonna we're gonna give reckless driving, cause I, I have to uh, probably add some other charges to this <clears throat> in the system. We'll do that on a later note, and we're gonna also charge him with um, driving under the influence. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, the uh, I forgot that. Let's add the uh, failure to. Oh, driving reckless. For argument's sake, for now. That, that's the reason why we stopped him. He was, he was swerving all over the road. Okay, so save and close. 
so we have that all right <clears throat> and let's uh let's place the um the evidence in the back take that to the uh station with us well let's get the uh, tow truck out here as well before we forget let's call for a tow truck Dispatch, can you roll me out a tow truck for a vehicle? It's going to be held at the uh, lot, Polito Bay Police Department lot. And let's, uh, evidence management. So we have the handgun and cocaine. Handgun. And cocaine. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. I know we had that other substance, I believe AH. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, you know, we got enough on him right now. If he has a few felony charges, it's going to jail. Oh, yeah. Oops, let's, let's stand him up. Go ahead and stand up for me. All right, and we'll place him in the back seat. And off to jail we go. All right, we'll go take him to bookings. Get him booked. All that good stuff. So a simple traffic stop turned into an arrest. So I'll be going home and he'll be going to jail. So it is what it is. Either way, I get paid for the day. All right, let's hurry up and roll him all into our bookings. So hopefully, so I'm gonna try to work with you. All right, what is the coroner out here just standing in the middle of the road? Alright, we'll get him, uh, so I'm going to try to get you processed as quickly as possible. And hopefully you get to see the judge. Alright, so we're going to take him inside. Oh, I got my uh, takedown lights on. Turn those off. Alright, so I like to do this for role play. So I am going to take him inside because I believe it's um, it's more authentic to, um, you know, take the, for especially for the drug tests, take the person, I believe they take them to, you know, I know they do some things on the road, but um, they also, you know, they for, for a certain tests, they take them back to the uh, station or to a station. What I will do is um, I am going to test this stuff right here. So we'll do the roadside drug test on the cocaine. Make sure it's cocaine. Suspected cocaine. So we'll do the Scott Regent. Positive for cocaine crack. The color turned blue. So we have cocaine. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Oh my. Yeah, oh my. You know what it is. So we'll process him in here. All right, sir, I'm going to give you a, a, a test for narcotics, okay? Okay, you want to get down off the table. Wow, buddy. Everybody know you, you passed the uh, physical agility test, but my goodness. All right, so we'll grab a kit. We'll come back over here, and sir, you're gonna take a narcotics test for me, all right? It's gonna be a drug swab. And you know, the cocaine crack that you have in the car, we're gonna see if that's in your system as well. Positive for marijuana, positive for ecstasy. All right, so you just carrying around the cocaine crack, but uh, you've been taking ecstasy, ecstasy and marijuana. That's no bueno, no good. All right. So we have positive for the uh, cocaine crack, and we have positive on his use. 
of uh, marijuana and ecstasy. So yeah, have a seat. I'm gonna take you into bookings. To get into bookings, I have to place you in my vehicle. All right. Yeah, dispatch. I just uh, found a guy in the middle of the street, totally unconscious. Which is just we'll park like over here, skateboard, and we'll take uh, him inside. He's way too old to be on one of those things. ID says he's from. All right, come with me, sir. All right, you just got to wait in order. You, you'll you get your chance to see the judge, tell your side, I'll tell my side. We'll see what happens. So the ADA rap, you know, ADA will tell my side of the story. All right, good luck to you, Alex. All right. All right, another one bites the dust. What's going on, fellas? Oh, bank robbery. All right. Dispatch. Show 48, 4 Henry 8, 10 8, available for calls. All right, so we just pulled up, I believe we're on Palato uh, Boulevard. Palito Boulevard. <clears throat> Where we see this car is parked real close to the... Uh, Red plus it's um no parking anytime on the sign. So we're gonna check this vehicle out, possibly uh not even possibly, we are gonna give the vehicle a parking ticket, legally parked vehicle, as well as it will be an automatic tow. Citizens report a grand theft auto in progress on um Procopio Drive. All right, dispatch show me unavailable for the moment I'll be out with a uh, illegally parked vehicle, okay? So the vehicle is going to be a 65JPR407 on Polito Boulevard. No parking any time zone. We have an illegally parked vehicle on Palato Boulevard near um, Blank County Savings Bank in Palato Bay. Target vehicle license plate uh, 65 John Paul Robert 407. Proceed with right, can you give me some more information on that vehicle or dispatch? 65JPR407. Let's just see what other uh, citations may be on the vehicle. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let's see if we can... All right. We, we got three running. Three running. Stop, stop. Polito Bay Police Department. So we just got into a pursuit. We just uh, joined into a pursuit trying to apprehend three suspects flee from the vehicle. We were in the middle of a uh, parking ticket. But we'll try to help out. I don't know why these guys jumped out like that. Freeze, you're going to get tased. I'm going to tase you. Taser. It's not effective. I missed. These right. gringos don't know what work is. And you're going to make me run. Oh, if I catch you, you are so in trouble. All right, he ran up the alleyway. All right, we are heading south near Polito Boulevard. And this is why sometimes I don't like to get involved with these uh, pursuits with the AI. Then I end up on a marathon run. Alright, we're going to see if we can try to tase this guy again. You're going to get tased. You are going to get tased. Stop, you're going to get tased. Oh my goodness, I missed two times. I'm gonna have to put my rectal on. I'm not gonna give up, I'm coming for you. You got me running all through the woods. We're gonna have to and we're gonna have to walk back to my car. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Don't do it. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. We're gonna do oh he has a firearm on him. Put the firearm down. 
Drop the weapon. Go ahead and drop it. Yeah, I got him. I, I got one. One from outstanding out of three. Yeah. He could have shot me. And I'm a, all I had was a, a taser at the time. Right, let's go pick that gun up. You and your buddies running for him. Huh? But you thought I was going to give up? The long arm of the Lord does not give up. All right, and now we got to get back to my vehicle. You see what you put us? You see what you put me through? Anyway, what uh, let's get him back to the vehicle, then we'll uh, we'll do the search and uh, we'll find out what's happening. But dispatch, be aware, be, be aware that we have one from a pursuit. Over here. Uh, another hey. another unit was in Get pursuit of a vehicle. I have one suspect who was armed out of three. And I hope my vehicle's still there. Parking ticket turned into a pursuit, a foot pursuit. School. Don't even go there. Oh, that sucks. Looks like my car may be gone. Right, let's see, because I don't see the uh I don't see the dot that shows my vehicle. That's crazy. They just crashed right into the parked vehicle, the illegally parked vehicle that I was dealing with. All right, but okay, there goes my car. But uh, that parked vehicle's gone. Well, if the person came and got their uh, illegally parked vehicle, it was crashed up. <laughs> as well as the uh, citation was already on it, so it is what it is. They just saved themselves from a tow. All right, and we went through all this to help those guys out. They broke out on us. Anyway. All right, what's going on with you? gonna pat you down all right me's credit card bling a map of Blaine County and a pair of earbuds all right nothing crazy about that all right dispatch can you give me information on a Mario host date of birth is 425 1994 license expired no active warrants all right doesn't matter because he's getting charged with the uh, handgun. Alright, so we're going to place that into uh, evidence. Alright, we're going to store that. Another handgun. Oh, it's going to rain. Oh, that sucks. So we have a handgun. We'll take that back to the uh, station with us. All right, go ahead and get in the car. All right, luckily we're coming to the end of the shift anyway. And they crashed into my car, ruined my, um, my rear bumper. All right, we'll do the arrest report when we get back to the uh, station. And the coroner is still standing out there. Obviously, that's a glitch. But oh well. Woo! All right. We'll hand him off, matter of fact. We're going to hand him off. I don't feel like getting wet. All right, dispatch, show me 10-8, available for calls. Oh my God. Hello. All right, hold on a second. Is it just me or is that vehicle parked in the opposite direction? All right, go ahead, go, go. You're free to go. All right, 
so this vehicle's parked counterflow. <clears throat> so that's a definite no no. So I mean it's gonna get an automatic tow anyway, but let's let's just see if it has any flags on it. Dispatch uh, two four Adam Boy King four four six. Two four Adam Boy King four four six no ten ninety nine. All right, so no flags. The vehicle has been issued two citations in the past. We're gonna give it a third one. Let's get a little closer. All right for parking, parking counterflow. So definitely an illegally parked vehicle, and we're definitely gonna have the vehicle towed. Just because the person didn't have any sense to park in the uh, correct direction. All that parking on the opposite side of the street. Well, definitely not in front of the church. Dispatch, can you roll me out a flatbed for this illegally parked vehicle? I'm on Polito Boulevard. All right, so the tow has the uh, vehicle. And we're gonna continue with patrol. Dispatch sold me 10-8. Okay, been following this guy here <clears throat> who's been brake checking me as well as driving very slow, slower than, uh, you know, I know we're on no local road, but driving slow, failing the signal and just failed to stop just now at that uh, traffic light there. So we're gonna uh, have a little conversation, obviously. Hey, do me a favor. Pull up more. Just gonna stop right in the uh, intersection. All right, that's good, that's good. Don't hit the sign, please don't hit the sign. Right, right in front of IPS. I wonder if uh, Doug Heffernan is working. <clears throat> well, uh, let's run the plate. Let's see what we have here. 81 Sam Charlie Charlie 700. David Bradford. Driving a suburban, suburban style vehicle SUV, I think. Lives on the uh, 3170. Elysian Fields Freeway 27 has prior citations oh, commercial vehicle driver so you got stopped for a overloaded overweight vehicle mm, 1750 sheesh all right let's go uh let's go have a chit chat with why they driving so slow and uh failed to stop at the uh, stoplight just roll right through it you telling me out it how you doing? Officer 4 Henry 8, Polito Bay Police Department, eyes normal, relaxed demeanor, nothing of interest. I am stopping you back there. You failed to stop at the stoplight. You uh you are permitted to make the right on red, but you uh roll right through the red light, failing to stop. Okay, I need to see your uh, license and proof of you insurance, got please. Alright, David Bradford, registered owner is operating the vehicle. Insurance is uh valid. All right, let's find out why they uh, possibly stopped. Any reason that you didn't stop at the uh, stoplight? Failed to come to a complete stop back there. Are you sure there's a stop back there? Okay, I wouldn't stop you for no reason. I'm definitely sure. All right, just stay inside the vehicle. Give me a moment, all right? All right, so nothing nothing uh, that draws our attention to uh, continue further than just the uh, traffic ticket. So we'll definitely uh, issue him the ticket for a uh, failure to stop. Just driving right through, you know, the uh, traffic light. You gotta at least stop. You can, you can make the right on red, but at least stop. All right, so the citation. It won't be a notice to appear, uh, even though, you know, it's a red light. And he's uh, operating. Uh, I'm going to consider that a suburban style vehicle SUV type. So uh, let's see. Failure to yield or stop. Let me make sure that, that there's no other. Okay, we have the red light as well. Traffic device or red light. 
So that that's more suiting. So we will go and give him the uh, ticket and get him on his way. The car looks sick, boy. Look at that. And that, I just love that uh, texture as well. All right, Mr. Bradford, you are being issued a ticket once again for uh, failure to stop at the stoplight. All right, you just roll right through. You can't do that. All right. Notice to a, there's not it's not a notice to appear. All right, but you do have the right to plead guilty or not guilty. All right, if you feel that I'm unjust. All right, drive safely. Be careful. Take care. Also, uh, just be mindful. Uh, answer the uh, ticket in a timely manner, or else you will receive notification from the San Andreas Department of Motor Vehicle. All right. Good luck to you. All right, a lot of people forget that you have to stop at the stoplight, even though you can do a right on red, but you just can't roll through. All right, it's better to be safe than sorry. All right, dis dispatch, show me uh, available for calls 10 8 off of that last traffic stop. All right, I hope you enjoyed that patrol out here in Polito Bay. We will have more to come, Officer 48 for Henry 8. Signing off on another LSPDFR patrol. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I'm still doing the tutorials. If you need help, uh, hit me up. I'll do what I can to try to assist you. And uh, take care. Be safe. See you on the next uh, one.